so I wanted to be able to get another video out to you guys as quick as possible. So the video this week, it doesn't actually have a lot to do with um, what we're going through right now as a province, as a country, in light of the events in the last week with Tropical Cyclone Yasa. But um, just wanted to get something out to you guys, um, give you an update on kind of what we've been doing. So this video will be a flashback to a few weeks ago. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit with you from what I read in my Bible this morning. I was reading in Luke chapter 12, and what stood out to me was this verse. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. And so if you look at um, the portion of <clears throat> or the thought that I was reading in the Bible, um, it kind of went through this, um, I guess, series of events would have been, it was talking about being watchful. Then it was talking about being ready for, you know, Jesus coming back. And then it was talking about being responsible and about being a good steward. And so... Leek is a little tired. You can hear him in the background there. Um, but I think that the order of events um, in this uh, thought in the Bible were very important about being watchful, being ready, about being responsible. Um, and how do we do these things? Um, well, well, I think it relates back to what he ended with and it was about being a good steward with what we have. So, I'll challenge you guys today. What have you guys been made in charge of? What do you have control over in your life? Is it your words? Is it your pocketbook, your money? Um, what do you have that you have been entrusted with? Because to those who have been given much, much will be demanded. And I don't mean much, just physical things. It's also about what's up here and what's in here. So. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. On with the video. Hi, we're John and Steph, and these are our sons, Eliki and Sevanaya. Our family lived and still runs a small business in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Our family has a dream, so we sold our stuff and packed our bags. We moved to a village in Fiji to start a new business venture. We are Waka Family. especially for the price so if anyone's interested check them out um, I'm gonna go look at this thing so you like the new tractor yeah, I just start it. I'm like, well, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Hey, Leaky, are you the driver? So while making this video, I realized that I didn't explain what was going on here. And what we were doing was weighing kava that we had recently harvested that I had purchased off of a relative of mine. And kava is used in Fiji as a traditional drink. And uh, what we are actually interested in doing is exporting it overseas as lots of people are doing right now. However, we are focused on the pharmaceutical side of things as it is used as a naturopathic treatment for anxiety. So um, we are starting off by targeting the local market. So I had a relative, like I said, who was selling some. So we decided to buy it and process it and see what the profit margins were like. So you got to start somewhere and this is it. So we brought home five sacks. Last night was about 174 kgs. We weighed it on the site and uh, yeah. Now we're going to use the pressure washer to clean it all up. 
You want to go? Yeah. Where? Yeah. In the truck? Yeah. Oh, okay. I heard you. You can use a pressure washer to get it all cleaned up and then start chopping. And Stephanie is going to go to town in the truck to pick up some tin and then we're going to build like a structure to put the tin in so that we can dry it. So, big process, but hopefully it'll pay off in the end. Let's get started. So I can shoot for the star so I can shoot for the star So I can shoot So I can shoot for the star So I can shoot for the star So I can shoot So I can shoot for the star we got a second load of grog here. I think in total we have around 380 kilograms. I gotta go check my phone for the exact number. So um, we are going to wash and cut up and separate the second load. And then the boys are actually over here already um, putting out the flesh from the stuff that we prepared yesterday. So we got a few tins here. And here's the flesh, the chips, the luena. So. You guys can see what the process is like. We got all our tin out here. Good start. It's exciting. Now, hopefully I can find somebody to buy it all. So, I wasn't recording this morning, but as we began washing the second load, um, the water ran out. So, of course it happens at the most inconvenient times, right? But we don't know why but we looked around there's no broken pipes so we just closed the tank outlet and we're letting it fill but now we got to go back to the roots back to the old style we're gonna take all the waka we already separate all the waka from the luena so we separate all the, the roots from like the flesh like I was talking about that is at the base of the stem where the roots would go into the stem so we separated it now we're taking all the roots down to the river and doing the old style washing the river so Dude, you gotta stop walking on me, man. <clears throat> so, on our way down to the river now, gonna start washing this. Now, most of you are probably familiar with this, but for me, it's my first time. But first time for everything, right? This is how they used to do it. So, it can be done. <laughs> All right, so everybody was recommending to me, oh, the fastest way to do it will be to use a pressure washer or the water blaster as they call it in Fiji, but I'm not so convinced. I think doing it the old style in the river might be just as fast or faster, actually, in my opinion. Sometimes old is good, right? Old is gold. So it's making my way back up now from the river. Gonna load up, do it again. You know, this first half of it basically only took half an hour maybe. So an hour to wash 170 kgs. Not so bad, in my opinion. So let's do it again. Come on. 
Alright. Ako. Tama. So, what do you think? Fun? You have fun? Oh, really? Oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. I just wanted to end this video by wishing you all happy holidays. And to those of you who are in Fiji, I know it's been a crazy, crazy end to the year. Um, we just went through the cyclone a week ago and I just wish everybody out there the very best um, despite the circumstances. And to those of you around the world, I know it's also been a crazy year, uh, very unusual. But uh, 2020 is what it was. And um, on with 2021, thank you guys so much for your support. We really appreciate it. And uh, let's make next year the year of doing. It's not about what we know. It's not about what's up here. It's about what we do with what we know. So I love you guys very much from our family to yours. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Peace.